The year was 1159 BC. Over the past 40 years, a series of catastrophes had struck the Mediterranean, causing many regional Bronze Age cultures to collapse or nearly collapse like a series of dominoes. Then, a series of devastating famines struck ancient Egypt. While the cause of the preceding disaster is still debated to this day, the famines which Egypt experienced were likely caused by a massive eruption of a distant volcano. In Iceland, the young volcano known as Hekla had recently produced its largest eruption on record, causing large parts of what is now the northern United Kingdom to become temporarily uninhabitable. In total, what is known as the Hekla III eruption ejected at least 7.3 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock and a massive VEI-5 eruption which was 27 times larger than the 2010 eruption of Eia Fjatja Jokotol which grounded European air traffic for a month. While this eruption did represent Hekla's largest known event, this volcano has a history of incredibly large explosive eruptions. In fact, its average eruption given a VEI designation is a VEI-4 which is large enough to cause devastating effects to the region surrounding a volcano. Although this volcano's recent eruptions have been generally smaller, there is a likelihood that this highly active volcano will produce more large magnitude eruptions. For context, the Hekla volcano is located in southern Iceland where it is 39 kilometers east-northeast of the city of Hela. Hekla is a strange volcano as could be both classified as a fissure system and a stratovolcano, although neither descriptive term is a perfect fit for this volcano. It is part of a 40 km long fissure which trends to the northeast, but the main portion of the volcano is only 5.5 km in length. Yet, unlike other regional fissure systems, it erupts a more viscous basaltic andesite lava rather than basalt lava. Hekla owes its existence to both the underlying Iceland hotspot and the eastern volcanic zone. As part of the eastern volcanic zone, the land is spreading apart to the east and west, allowing magma to intrude into a series of fissures and cracks which act as a path of least resistance. Eventually, this magma reaches the surface, producing an assortment of volcanoes such as Hekla. Despite its size, Hekla is a surprisingly young volcano as it only began forming approximately 7,000 years ago. Although it may have had an eruption as much as 8,000 years ago, this oldest eruption has an unusually large margin of error. Thus, it is quite possible that Hekla was born through a massive VEI-5 eruption which was similar in magnitude to the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. These early eruptions often occurred at more than a dozen vents simultaneously, sending a plume of ash well beyond a height of 20 kilometers into the atmosphere. After another major explosive eruption in 1104, Hecla's eruptive style appears to have become slightly less explosive and eruptions became more frequent. However, this may simply be a fact that smaller explosive eruptions are harder to find evidence of than larger ones in rock formations. Regardless, by then Hecla had grown to a height of 1,490 meters above sea level and its overlapping cones had formed a prominent raised ridge rather than a central peak. Since then, eruptions have increasingly produced voluminous lava flows that have traveled up to 15 kilometers away from the volcano. It is possibly due to these abundant lava flows that the volcano received the nickname of the Gateway to Hell. While Hecla has not produced a VEI-5 eruption since 1104, it did go on to produce eight more VEI-4 eruptions. Seven eruptions have occurred since 1913, the last of which was in 2000. Interestingly, this volcano is surprisingly difficult to predict. Warning signs such as earthquake swarms often appear as little as 30 to 90 minutes before an eruption, and since this volcano is a common hiking spot, this could potentially be deadly. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Hog for supporting this channel.